A Canada Day weekend is always special in this building, and we have felt it already, and the game has not even started yet. Absolutely. A sea of red in the building, of course. Russell Martin here throwing out the first pitch and getting on it. Barrios leading him onto the field along with Vladdy, and we get ready for game number two. The 0-2 to right field. And with lots of room, Tay Oscar Hernandez makes the catch for the day's first out. Here's G-Man Choi. Who did not appear in last night's game? 282, six home runs on the season. We've seen him do it before. Up the middle, that ball's going to scoot through. Single into center, and Choi is aboard. They flip flop Epsmall and Bichette. The pitch, round ball into the teeth of that ship. The second baseman, Vizio, to Bichette at second after that long backhanded feed, only getting one out. And a swing and a miss. Got him on a curveball way outside. Corey Kluber, it's about cutting it and curving it. First pitch is swung on at a ground ball, too short. Franco's throw is right there. 2 0 pitch, skied back into center. Kiermeyer right there waiting, and he puts it away. So, four pitches and two outs. 36 year old right hander. It's a pop up. Right side. Joy and Paredes going to be Paredes to make the grab, and a 1 2 3 quick bottom of the first. Kevin Kiermaier will lead off the second. Second single surrendered by Barrios. And here's Josh Lowe, the left fielder. And a little roller. Open side there just by the bag at third. Ramirez will head to third and the second base goes low. Not the hardest hit double he'll ever come up with, but boy, perfectly placed fair on the vacant third base side. So second and third, three hits off Barrios now, and all of them weak contact. The batter was Rene Pinto, the catcher, hitting 156. Ground ball, third base, and the run's going to score the throw to first. So Ramirez down that line, and the Rays are on the score. Base hit into center field. Two hit day for Choi. In the top of the third as Wander Franco steps in. Off the end of the bat, shallow center field, and a great running catch. George Springer running a mile in to make that play. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. takes the first pitch in there for strike one. Well hit ball, left center field, and this one's getting to the wall. And Gurriel gliding into second with a leadoff double. Well, now it'll be Kevin Biggio getting a start at second base today. And he lifts one to left center field. He's hit it well, but Kiermaier drops it on the track. Guriel will stop at third. Biggio's at second. It has scored a double for Biggio. And that is going to load him up for Bo Bichette. Bo's looking for one of those breaking balls or cutters. Got the ball up, and this one's well hit. Right field. It's off the wall. Here comes Guriel. Biggio right behind him. Springer will stop at third on a two run double for Bichette and the Blue Jays have the leads two to one Blue Jays infield in for the Rays. Here's Vladdy and that is a fair ball down the line Springer and Bichette in to score Guerrero on his way into second and safe with a two run double. Dad's done that a few times. Yeah senior loving it and it is four to one Blue Jays still just one out of the batter was Alejandro Kirk. That's a fair ball. Here comes Guerrero. Kirk on his way to second. And safe there. The fifth double of the inning for the Blue Jays. Second walk of the afternoon, and that's going to load the bases for Wander Franco. Line to first, and there is Guerrero. A good play by Vladdy. Barrios gets out of it. Kiermeyer is going to beat it out for an infield hit. Here's Harold Ramirez. That's a shot. Liner toward left center field. Going to make its way to the wall on one hop. Kiermaier is going to score. It's a double for Ramirez. And the Rays trim the lead by a run. It's now 5-2. to two. Guriel on base for the third time in the ballgame. And Espinal aboard. First and second. Nobody out. And they are loaded for the top of the order. Base is loaded. Nobody out. And George Springer at the plate. And a fair ball over a leaping Diaz down the left field line. Guriel in to score. Espinal behind him. 
It is 7 to 2. Vigio coming to third on the play. The Rays will play the infield back with second and third, one out, and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. at the plate. And the 2 2. And a ground ball to short, and this will get a run home. Franco will throw Vladdy out by a step, but Abigio in, Springer to third, and it's 8 to 2. Or two down. Good day for Lourdes. Two for two with a walk. And now he crushes one to left. A no doubter for Guriel. A three hit day for Lourdes. Four times he's been aboard, and there's the exclamation point on Canada Day. 9 2 Blue Jays. And a guy Joe, the Blue Jays had kind of been saving and waiting for when they needed him. Well, Kikuchi went six yesterday. Barrios went five today, but now Max Castillo comes in likely to work the last two innings. Hasten nerves in the first one, and you can't blame him. Fly ball to right. Teoscar there, and Josh Lowe is retired. One down. 2 1. Pulled on the ground to the shortstop, waiting on a nice hop. Bichette with the backhand. Easy chuck to first in time. Rolls over on one to Biggio at second. And it's a 1 2 3 top of the eighth for Max Castillo. Uh, Brett Phillips, he is in to pitch right now. This will be his third appearance of the season on the mound. And a high fly ball into center field. Kiermaier is going to go to the wall. And he's going to leap and make the catch. The tag at second over to third goes Biggio. And a pop fly into center. Kiermaier is there to make the catch and the tag, but uh, deciding not to come down the line at third. Biggio. So now two outs. Taking all of this in and a broken bat. Ground ball to third. Paredes with the throw, and that retires the side of school. It's eighth by Phillips. We go to the ninth, 9 2. Ground ball to third. Chapman to second one. Biggio to first. And that's your ball game.